Do you like watching rugby but you don't understand the positions or are you looking to start playing but want help with choosing the best position for you? If you answered yes to any of these questions then this video is for you. What's up ladies and gentlemen, Johnny Boy here back with a new video and in today's video I'm going to be talking about the traits and roles of each rugby union position so you get a better understanding of the game. So without further ado, let's get started. In rugby union, teams are made up of up to 23 players, 15 that play on the field and 8 of them are substitutes. Subs are known as impact players. This is because they are fresh, so they bring loads of energy and loads of power, which could potentially turn the match in their team's favor. There is 15 players on the field divided into two categories. There's forwards and there's backs. There is eight forwards and they need to be big, strong and powerful. This is because they need to be able to beat their opponents in a scrum. They need to be able to use that strength and power to run through tackles, allowing them to gain territory. And running through tackles also creates gaps in the opponent's team defensive line, making it easier to gain territory. And finally, they need to be able to protect the ball from the defensive side in a ruck. On the defensive side, they also need to use that strength and power to tackle the opponent, preventing them from gaining territory. They also compete in a ruck to try and win possession of the ball. This is known as counter-rucking. The last seven players who are not part of the scrum are known as backs. Backs have to be fast, powerful and agile. This allows them to build speed in the game to get past the defensive line and score points. They also support the forwards by playing the ball from scrums and lineouts. On the defensive side, they will also try to keep up with the opposing team's backs, preventing them from scoring and doing their own tackles. The loose head and tight head props along with the hooker make up the front row. The front row is just the position they are in the scrum. To be a successful prop you must be big, extremely strong all round. This is to stop your side of the scrum from moving backwards. The props also support the hooker so that they can strike the ball as soon as it's put into the scrum. In the lineup, props should be able to support the jumper to prevent the opposite team winning the ball. The hooker is in between the two props in the front row and their job is to help keep the scrum from moving backwards and their main responsibility is to win possession of the ball when it's thrown into the scrum. During a line out, a hooker is responsible for throwing the ball in. They, it must be in the middle of both teams, but still be able to hit the ball accurately so that their jumper who's expecting it receives the ball. Second row, sometimes known as locks. This is my position. The second row's role in the scrum is to use their strength and size to make sure that the scrum doesn't go backwards, while also making sure that the ball goes through once it's been thrown into the scrum. In a line out, you have to be dynamic, aware of the surroundings and accurate with the jumps to ensure that the other team doesn't get the ball. Flankers make up the back row of the scrum along with the number eight. They support in the pushing in the scrum to ensure that their team wins the ball. To be a flanker, you should have excellent all-round skills. So they need to have strength and power, but also they should have some speed and agility. On the defensive side, they're the ones that are usually making plays from rocks and moles, and they receive passes from players that have been tackled. On the defensive side, they regularly make their own big tackles. They also take part in rucks and mauls, which is why they need a lot of strength as well. This position is just known as number eight, and their role is similar to the two flankers. 
they bind on right to the back of the scrum and they're the only ones who are allowed to pick the ball up from the base of the scrum. To be a good number eight, you need to be explosive, dynamic and quick to think on your feet. The scrum half tends to be one of the smaller players in the team. They are the playmaker and they link the forwards to the backs. On the offensive side, their role is to control and play the ball from scrums, rucks and mauls, which is why they need to have good reaction time, good awareness and quick hands. On the defensive side, they also need to be aware of the opposition's scrum half and what they're going to play from a breakdown. So for example, if the offensive team picks up the ball and runs, they must be ready to tackle. On the offensive side, they have multiple roles. As they are at a point where they can see everything on the pitch, they can orchestrate their team's backs to ensure that every position is covered. If the ball comes to them, they have to decide whether they're gonna run, pass or kick for position. So along with good speed and agility, they must have good awareness and decision-making skills. Within a rugby team, they are also usually the designated place kicker. So they must kick conversions, penalties and drop goal attempts. So you must be a good kicker. In the defensive side, they must orchestrate the backs to make sure that they're in place to stop the opponent team from attacking. They also need to have good strength for themselves to make their own tackles. On the offensive side, they're usually the ones that attack past the line of defense to finish off team plays. So they must have good awareness to be able to see gaps in the defensive line. They must be explosive and fast to avoid getting tackled. And on the defensive end, they need to be able to support their team by making their own tackles to preventing any attacks or gaining territory. The centers must be good at attacking. This means that they need to be fast and explosive. This is so that they can exploit gaps in the defensive line. The inside center is similar to the fly half, so they must be good at passing and kicking, whereas the outside center is similar to the winger, so they need to be fast and good at passing and offloading the ball to the winger. In the lineup, this is the person at the very back. They need to be fast and agile as a winger as their role is mainly attacking and finding gaps in the defense. They must be good at catching the ball as they're usually the ones that are receiving the ball from a kick. On the defensive end, they must still be strong and able to tackle well. While all these positions have their unique roles, players must be flexible and well-rounded because it's a very dynamic sport. So you might find yourself in a position where you have to do what other positions do. While you might not be as good as them, you should be able to hold your own. So if you're really big, you're strong and you've got loads of power, you will fit in very well in the first and second row. If you're big, strong and powerful and have some speed and agility, you can play very well in the back row. If you're someone who is a little bit smaller but you have good strength, good all-round fitness and good decision making then you would suit being a scrum half. If you're someone who has great all-round fitness, as a good kicker and good team leading skills then you'd suit the fly half position. And if you're good at throwing, catching, got great endurance, great agility, quicker decision making then you'd suit being the centre or full back. So I hope this video has helped you gain a better understanding of each rugby position Position, and that is giving you a rough idea of which position would best suit you and remember the best way to get started is to just get involved and you will learn your strengths and weaknesses as you go if you enjoyed this video or it helped you then give it a thumbs up if you want to learn more about rugby or other sports then check out this playlist explaining the different rules of rugby and other sport and if you want to stay up to date with my latest videos hit that subscribe button it will keep you updated with the latest videos and as usual ladies and gentlemen adios